for tuning in to Living Supernaturally, our daily devotions. We're so glad you're here. Uh, and today we will talk about um, uh, serving God and uh, serving Him well. Um, we know that in Christ Jesus, we have a new position that God has transformed us and we live victorious. Um, we are born of God and you know we are able to represent Him here uh, in the world. But do we also know that God has called every single one of us to serve His kingdom in some way or the other? It's not uh, something just, you know, people who have special assignments um, need to do, but it's something that each one of us can do, and that is to serve God. I'd like to read for us from Ephesians chapter 4, verses 12 through 13 for the equipping of the saints for the work of the ministry, for the edifying of the body of Christ. Um, Ephesians chapter 4 uh, teaches us that God has called us to serve in His kingdom and that He has granted the fivefold ministry offices to equip the saints. And the saints are all the believers. All believers have been called to do the work of the ministry. Now, when we look at the word ministry, you know, sometimes um, that uh, causes us to think that, hey, you know, I'm not called into ministry of any sort. But uh, simply that word uh, ministry there, uh, it means to serve. And this word is used in Acts chapter 13 when we see that uh, the Antioch elders, they were ministering unto the Lord. The term used there was diaconia in, in Hebrew. Similarly, you know, we see uh, this, this word diaconia used in places where ministry is equated to serving. So ministry is nothing but serving. So according to Ephesians chapter 4, every single one of us are called for some or the other kind of service for God, for His kingdom. So this is what I want all of us to understand today that God has chosen each one of us for something special or something special to do in his kingdom now we might um, look at ourselves and assess ourselves and say that i'm not called to preach from the pulpit or you know i'm not called to lead worship or i'm not called to um, you know do some uh, great things up front in in front of people in public but that is not necessarily the only form of service that god is looking for no, God has called us in different capacities and given us grace of varying kinds. We read about this in, F, uh, in Romans chapter 12, that God's grace, you know, it has called some uh, to uh, lead, it has called some to uh, engage in administration, God's grace upon people's lives to teach. So God has called each one of us differently. And it's only when each of us choose to engage that we will see God's glory revealed from, from our lives. And um, I just want to add a word of encouragement here. You know, there might be something really small that is offered for us to do. Maybe uh, in church we are called to um, lay the chairs or wipe the chairs even. But you know what? Uh, that is service. That is ministry. Anything that we're doing unto the Lord, you know, that we, we can be um, very proud about it and we can be happy that God has given us an opportunity to bless his kingdom whether it's in a small way or it's in a big way but here is the truth every believer is called to minister in other words to serve with the grace or the gift that God has given that person so let's all step forward and serve together let's pray Heavenly Father we thank you that as your children Lord, everyone can serve in your kingdom. Lord, we thank you that every believer is a minister, O oh God. And Father, we pray that, um, Lord, you will help us discover our place and be a blessing in your kingdom. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.